I'm Melanie. Welcome back to our office at Ictis Foundation in Zurich. In my last video, I introduced our new Temporal Interference Planning Tool, TPY, for the optimization of neurostimulation protocols. Today, I am proud to present the latest version of this tool, TIP version 2.0. TLP stands for Temporal Interference Planning Tool and is a computational modeling tool that supports researchers in optimizing electrode currents and placements for their TI stimulation experiment. Temporal interference, or TI for short, is a non-invasive electric stimulation technique for deep brain targets. TI requires optimized placement of scalp electrode pairs, injected accurate, well-insulated, but highly phase and amplitude synchronized current. TIP is the tool to achieve that. It is easily online accessible based on electromagnetic simulations involving highly realistic and detailed anatomical head models. And it can be used without particular expertise in computational modeling. TIP has the so-called guided mode, which greatly simplifies the use of the tool. Let's have a look. In step one, the user defines the setup, including the target brain region. Step two performs the fully automatic or interactive identification of an optimized stimulation protocol. And step three provides the optional in-depth exposure analysis. We understand the importance of comprehensive documentation, so TIP automatically generates detailed reports documenting exposure parameter choices, optimized electrode configurations, performance metrics, and more. TIP V1, the previous version of the tool, was limited to only two channels, sinusoidal currents, and one head model. TIP V2 now overcomes all of these limitations. Let's have a look together at the new features. The optimization process begins in the setup panel. Here, you can choose the stimulation target region, define the electrode configuration space to be explored, and select a head anatomy among the newly provided set of different models. In the first release of TIP, Users were limited to running optimizations on one single computational anatomical model. Now, intersubject variability can be investigated using four different highly detailed head models. This helps maximize the relevance of the neurostimulation predictions to your study and improve the quality of the optimized stimulation condition. We have also added a mouse model to permit researchers working with rodents to optimize their protocols as well. Our advanced optimization algorithm powered by multi-goal optimization calculates key performance metrics. It takes into account factors like target exposure strength, stimulation selectivity, and collateral exposure. The importance assigned to each of these goals can be interactively adapted in the next step. Here, TIP permits interactive refinement of the stimulation strategy based on qualitative and quantitative visualization of high-frequency and TI modulation field distributions. You can investigate targeting, selectivity, and collateral brain stimulation, as well as exposure safety, for example, near the electrodes. A newly introduced visual guidance complements the quantitative table to help balance conflicting goals such as target exposure maximization and collateral exposure minimization. To offer an interactive experience and enable the exploration of large parameter spaces, 
we make full use of cloud computing and parallelization. PIP v2 brings two important new modes additionally to the traditional TI supported by version 1, namely multi-channel TI and SACE modulation TI. Researchers can now benefit from up to eight independent channels and are able to investigate advanced phase modulation schemes and pulse shapes. With that, TIP version 2 helps users to maximally benefit from the corresponding advanced and unique TIPS version 2 hardware functionalities, which open new avenues for groundbreaking research and innovative novel applications. Having more than two channels has the following substantial advantages. First, you can improve focality and stimulation selectivity and even achieve multifocal stimulation. And second, the currents are distributed over larger scalp surfaces and therefore current densities and the risk of associated confining sensations are reduced. Having more than two channels, combined with precise control over the immediate channel phase, also opens exciting possibility with regard to activity or state-synchronized stimulation, as well as pulse and burst stimulation and complex modulation shapes. The latter are important with regard to improving stimulation efficiency and the selective stimulation of neural subpopulations associated with specific brain activities or function. But of course, we will not stop here. For future releases, we have exciting new functionalities and enhancements planned. These will enable personalized TI planning based on subject-specific imaging data, allowing for optimization tailored to the individual and they will even support the assessment of user-defined performance metrics and optimization criteria. And with this, we reach the end of today's video. We are really excited to see how you will be able to use the TI planning tool version 2.0 in your research studies and are looking forward to getting your feedback. Thank you very much for watching today's video and for joining us on this exciting journey. For any further information, please check out the links in the description box down below. And as usual, if you liked today's video, please show that like button some love. And to stay up to date with the newest developments at ITIS Foundation, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to stay up to date with all the newest developments. Tip version 2.0. The future of brain stimulation starts right here. See you next time. Bye-bye.